Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu meinem Let's Play Life is Strange Before the Storm Folge 8. Hier geht es direkt weiter. Viel Spaß. So, Rachel wollte, dass wir ihr den äh, Gürtel bringen. Das werden wir natürlich auch direkt machen. Aber wir schauen uns hier natürlich wie immer sehr genau um. Und wir gucken natürlich erstmal, was passiert, wenn wir hier rausgehen. Lehnt sie ab. Gut. Hätte auch nichts anderes erwartet. So, jetzt gucken wir uns mal hier. Ah, da haben wir Chloe. doch schon was. My pants get lonely without my belt. Ja, 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 warte mal ein bisschen. Ja. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you? Slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Ja, oh, kommentieren. What to say, what to say. Etwas verbittert, Flüttchen anprangern. Hm, egal. Slut shaming is so 2009. VC should know. Ja, moin. Suck a D, VC. Tasche. Wir wollen aber erstmal natürlich alles andere uns anschauen. Hey now. Sharing is caring. Stifte für den Inspizierten, niemanden sonst. Alias Steph. Schön. Ein Computer. To Internet or not to Internet. Yes, Internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Das haben wir ja alles schon gesehen hier. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Nathan Prescott playing Caliban und Rachel Amber playing Prospera. Okay. Ach ja. Juliet Watson kennen wir ja auch noch aus dem ersten Teil. Ähm also wir gucken noch mal eben kurz hier Gehen wir hier ein bisschen schneller hin. Hier sind nämlich auch noch mal ein paar mehr Sachen. Sweet caller, Pepe. Should be life is drama. Ah ja, okay, was war denn da? If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Ja, moin. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Das bestimmt nicht. Hoppala. Wir gucken uns das erstmal an. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <lacht> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Das ist eine ganz gute Frage eigentlich. Rachel Amber, Drama Star and Guardian Angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Tja, sure, aber stimmt. Save my life. Get some ink. Errungenschaft dramatisch dramatis personaris oder sowas. Wie auch Chloe. immer. My pants get lonely without my belt. <lacht> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Oh, das ist so schön. Rate wir, alles klar. <lacht> Man sieht natürlich überhaupt nicht, dieses Logan durchgestrichen ist. 
So, aber ich würde mal sagen, wir holen jetzt erstmal... Ah, da ist ja noch ein Poster. This poster definitely says... something. That's... the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Rachel looks so happy here. Ja, sieht durchaus äh, schick aus das Bild. Ich wollte aber den Gürtel haben. There's Rachel's belt. Okay. Yes, I'll go give this to Rachel now. Da wir uns ja hier jetzt alles angeschaut haben, können wir ja auch direkt jetzt durchgehen. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Mist. Äh, uh, wie darf ich denn das jetzt verstehen? Äh. Uh, ich bin leicht überfordert. Was ist denn schon dabei, den Gürtel zu bringen? Ich meine... Das ist ja wohl, wenn wir den jetzt rüberwerfen, dann kriegst du den vielleicht auf den Kopf, ne? Also ganz ehrlich, ich, ich werf den doch da nicht hin. Ich geb dem den jetzt. Hat das Konsequenzen, diese Entscheidung? Shit. Ich bring ihr den Gürtel. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. Sure you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go road we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Okay, ich muss jetzt darauf erstmal klarkommen, was hier passiert. Rachel hat uns jetzt 
dazu überredet, die Schule zu verlassen. Obwohl wir eigentlich hätten Unterricht machen müssen. Und jetzt fahren wir alles kalt im Zug irgendwo hin. Ja. Läuft. Ist doch schön. So, wir gucken uns natürlich wieder wunderbar um. Die können wir gleich bewegen. Gucken erstmal, was es hier alles gibt. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Ja, das äh, wäre recht interessant eigentlich zu wissen mal. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. Spediteur. Ja, ja. Terminationsbenachrichtigung, Prescott Stiftung. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Ja, dann gehen wir mal vielleicht doch noch die Papier da weg. So, wir schnappen uns mal eine Kiste. There's my chair. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Just another typical day, skipping school, with Rachel Amber. There's my chair. Okay, then sit with mine. All right, Chloe. We're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? I wish Max were here, so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? <laughs> She's completely overfordered. <laughs> eh, ja klar. Ähm, schönes Wetter heute. Ah. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> What? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Äh, was? Äh, was, was unterhaltsam ist, ja? Zustimmen, was ist das Unterhaltsame, aber flirten? Was für flirten? Jetzt mal ohne Spaß, Alter, was sind denn das hier für Möglichkeiten? Das soll ich jetzt entscheiden, Mann. Das ist doch ein Entwickler, bitte. Das könnt ihr doch nicht machen. Ich weiß ja nicht, was ihr mit was Unterhaltsamem meint. Oh. Ähm. Ist ja ein Spiel, ne? Wir, wir, wir können ja uns für das entscheiden, was wir wollen. Ne? Ich würde einfach mal kommen. 
Wir haben ja genug Theorien aus dem ersten Teil gehört über die beiden. Ne? Deswegen ist meine Antwort B. V-Card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Hey, ernsthaft jetzt, Entwickler? Ich hab doch keine Ahnung. Oh, wie war denn das im ersten Teil? Von wo kam die denn? Wurde das da überhaupt gesagt? Oder wann sie Geburtstag hat? Ich hab keine Ahnung, was... Oder meinte sie überhaupt das Sternzeichen mit dem Löwen? Dass sie aus New York kommt oder in so ein kleines Kaff geht, ist glaube ich eigentlich eher weniger. Ich tippe jetzt einfach mal auf New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so. Nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? I swear. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's, 
Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. I'm sorry I said anything. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said, R. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling live. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list, too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But... I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. I wouldn't mind listening to some music. Want to listen?
bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes... I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! It's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Tut mir wirklich leid, aber wir sind jetzt bereits acht Minuten über meiner eigentlich äh, erwünschten Folgenlänge. Ich wollte jetzt dieses Gespräch da nicht ähm, aufhalten im Zug, aber es scheint hier kein Ende zu nehmen. Und ich habe diese Szene hier bereits in einem Trailer gesehen. Das dauert nochmal mindestens fünf Minuten und das wird mir jetzt zu lang. Deswegen werde ich die Folge jetzt an dieser Stelle beenden. In der nächsten Folge machen wir dann an genau an dieser Stelle hier weiter. Ich bedanke mich bei euch wieder ganz herzlich fürs Zuschauen und sage Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. How'd you get so far?